So you need to sign here and here. Can I get you coffee, water? No, I'm okay. fine, thank you. Uh, once I sign this, what, what happens to my partner? They will sell the house because you will get half the value because that's what you wanted. Can I leave it to them? No, that will ruin your custody trial. If they think they're responsible enough for your personal assets, then they'll think they're responsible for your son, which will restrict you from having the life you always wanted. That's why you two are getting a divorce. Okay, okay. It's normal to have second thoughts. We're all human. But you told me that you two can no longer live together, and I'm really just doing the best I can. So can you just, like, sign here? I, I can. I cannot sign. I understand. You've already paid me, and you still have two payments left. Please, just let me do my job. I know. That's fine. I understand. It's just that... It's what? Your partner has mental health problems and has abused your son. They visited a psychiatrist twice in seven years. Twice diagnoses depression. He has a history of mental illness. Okay, I suppose. We were talking about how they abused my son, uh, like the slap. Yes, physical violence against the child is abuse. Well, that wasn't what really happened. He threatened our son, nothing more. Okay. So we put in the papers that you were worried. If the judge sees it that way, then I see it that way, and that's good enough for me. And if the judge finds out? They won't find out. And if they ask me? You answer. How should I answer? The same way you did in the first statement we submitted. But, but it's not true. Nobody in this life gets what they want, being truthful, honest, and generous. Trust me. And you can live with that? Yes, I can.